Thanks for stopping by guys, it's Al here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. As you can probably already tell, I am in a helicopter this episode. Um, I'm kind of doing a bit of a revisit on it. At first, when I first made the helicopters, I considered them to be a gimmick, something that was kind of cool but overall useless. Um, but when I had to actually use them for the AI video I just did recently, I realized how helpful that something like this can be with how stable it is. They're not exactly the fastest, but they are very helpful. Um, getting to hard to reach places, hard to land on places like small areas. Um, they're also really nice for following things and for searching because you can stop. If I slow down here, you can stop and look for things easily without flying by it real fast which really came in helpful with the AI video because they were always wandering and I never knew where they were so I could easily search for them so there is that so this is not the mark 27 like I said before this is one I've been working on um, I wanted to give a little bit more to it so this is the mark 20 or mark 31 not 21 31 um, my rotor is starting to tilt, which I need to fix, but before I do that, um, I did some fixing, made it a bit faster. It does move forward a whole lot faster. It turns, turns a little bit faster, I think. Um, it might actually turn a bit slower. I don't really remember how fast the old one turned. As you can see, I am off balance really bad here. I'll fix that here in a second and you might notice there are wheels under this I'll show you what those do in a second um, but with the added weight and some of the changes to the blade itself I did get this to do a perfect hover it's really unnatural almost how it how still it can sit for a long period of time because my blade is off balance I can't do it right now but hopefully here in a second I'll show you and kind of the thing that I, the reason I revisited this is because I had an idea and I wanted to make sure it would work before I went and redid an, an entire helicopter, which I do plan on doing a new one soon. So what I kind of want to show off is this little landing system. It serves really no practical purpose on a helicopter, but it was just kind of really fun to do. In my opinion, it looks nice if I can no, man, I, that, that was a pathetic attempt at a landing. Let's see if we can, no, don't hit too hard. There we go. That was a softer touchdown. So as you can see, the landing gears actually tuck away when landed. The Mark 27 had a more traditional looking landing system. I can click the search bar. Twenty-seven. There we go. It had these very traditional, like uh, I don't know what you want to call these, the landing. I don't know landing bars. I don't know what the technical term is for it. Someone's going to correct me on that, or probably not. But it had those, and something that kept happening was this would keep rolling, like falling over, and overall. I, I kind of liked it. I think it looks kind of nice. looks kind of traditional. But I wanted to go with something a bit more sci-fi. And I wanted to make sure it worked on a vehicle before I actually, like I said, before I actually rebuilt it. Um, so this is what I came up with. I did try and encase the wheels a bit better. But the problem was is the size of those little legs weren't long enough. And the i guess it, it bottomed out before the wheels actually touched because of how much i needed to cover those wheels i'm gonna hop back actually no i'm not gonna hop back in it i'm gonna do that so i can reset the blade so i can actually show you its ability to hover get in here so three turns on blades two turns up power 
And as I begin to lift off, something odd is depending on where the lay, if these little arms are down or up, changes how this thing hovers. And not in the sense like you think they would. Like, I can understand changing the center of mass, but it almost acts as if the weight of the vehicle changes. And it's really weird. Because I can't get into a perfect hover while those are down. Like here. So if you base that rock in the background off my tire, you won't, ch this won't change. That gap won't change. If it does, it is slowly, it is actually slowly changing. Okay. You can see how slow it is changing. Yes, I'm not 100% still, but I'm not moving really anywhere. I am bobbing slightly. Other than that, it's extremely stable. I hop out of my seat, and I'm just standing here. So, yeah. Other than that, it's for the most part, um, for the most part, the same as the 27. Everything is the same. It's the same exact chassis, just with a different landing gear and a better balance so that it hovers a bit better. I'm going to go around. As you do move forward, you do start to lose altitude. As you can see, my landing gears are starting to interact with the ground. Let me raise up a bit. Come on. Bounce out. There we go. That's a bit better. I'm going to fly around for a little bit. Um, I do plan on having this up on the workshop soon. I'm sorry I didn't make an actual new creation and just kind of altered an old one. Um, I know I've done stuff like that with the guns, but with the guns I'd at least try and make a new system. Yes, they were similar systems, but I try and make an upgraded version each time. This is just kind of a goofy change. It doesn't really serve much practicality at the end of the day, but it is really fun to fly in my opinion. If you want to check that out, I do plan on having it uploaded. Let me get up here. I don't really think there's much else to talk about. If you really want to know how to fly this, I would suggest going to the Mark 27 video. Um, to I spend some more time there on it? Kind of shoving it off. And they're, for the most part, the exact same flight. Yes, this one is a bit more stable, in my opinion. So there is that. I'm going to see if I can land on top of the mountain. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get a nice soft landing. My blade's doing fine. Why can I not turn? For some reason, I cannot turn right. Ah, screw it. Yeah. I'm forever locked in turning left. For some reason. I don't know why. And touchdown. Quite soft. Um, one thing to note, and I almost forgot about it. Even though there are wheels, they do not turn. The only reason I didn't do that is because I, one point I did have them turning. But when I'd land like this, I'd start to roll down the hill, and it was not fun. So instead, I made them just static and stopped. So I could actually park it just about anywhere I wanted to. That, that, that works. That, that looks nice. So, yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed this creation. Um, shit. Didn't mean to go under it. Come on, uh, get me up here. Uh, I'll use this. There we go. So hopefully you enjoyed this creation. Um, I know this is a bit of a shorter episode, and I didn't 
really make anything new. I did make an edit to an older vehicle that I've made. Um, like for those who haven't really looked at either the I'm, the sorry video or my last update, my work schedule has been screwing with me, and I was just trying to get a quick episode out. And I had been working on this just as a spare time thing, and I wanted to make a video out of it, and be simple, fast, and easy. Um, so that's kind of why. But there really isn't much else to cover about this. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please comment them down below. If you enjoy the channel and what I'm doing, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. So until next time, this has been Al revisiting my utility helicopter. Come on. Tree. 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 Shit. Peace. God damn it. That's a wonderful way to end an episode.